Hey, uh, Scriber parts, part two. What we're making here is a threaded Scriber part, so that steel part threads into the aluminum part. And Charles, hi Charles, Hello. he's going to, uh, he made the tips and now I'm going to set it up for the threading part. It's a 1931 Barnes and Oliver. Yes, folks, that's right, 1931. Anyway, it's our favorite machine, right, Charles? Yes, sir. Yeah, don't tell the other one, though. The other, <laughs> the other machine's a more profitable one. Anyway, so, okay, so we're going to take our blank that we already made, Charles made these, and we're going to put it in the truck, nice and careful-like, and half chuck it, not full chuck it. And we're going to take our turret, back it up one station, and we're going to bump it up, set the length. We're going to hold it. This is going to hold it. So first, I want to just a slight... Take that burr off there with that tool there. Okay, so now we're going to come back. We're going to hold the part with the, the stop is holding it so that we can put a heavy knurl on it because they like to be able to feel the part. So there's the knurl. Okay, got it? Good. Okay, so now we're going to reset our threader. It's not going to cut the threads. It's going to roll the threads. So we'll just come up there and make sure we got to pull it and roll them babies on there. That's right. And we're going to pull our part out. There we go, folks. Here's the, the old one, and uh, here's the prototype or the sample versus ours. That's pretty similar, no? Our knurl's a little narrower, and yeah, just thread it in there. That is a precision rolled thread. It's not cut, it's rolled. It's like, uh, you know, roll, 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 roll your thread gently down <laughs> the steel. Merrily, 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 brother. Life is but a dream. Old machines, old school. We love you. See you. <laughs>